Yeah. You're live. Hello, everybody. It's me, Eddie, live from our new, brand new So Time Center. We hope that this kid um, is going to be not only a blessing to the store, but also to you. As you can see, this is a very large room where you all will be able to comfortably return. It is a place to safely return to learning. We are going to have a room, we have a room now that changes out the air in this room four times an hour minimum, courtesy of our ideal air purification system. It is a place that we can have live events. That's right. We can have up to 12 Solaris's or luminaires in this room with instructor. We have state of the art televisions, screens, internet connectivity. This room has been built with this in mind. And from a perspective of power, we have three separate circuits. There will be no power issues here. We have an ironing center where we can actually press. We have cutting tables. We have, this is just exciting. And we believe it's going to make all of you um, happy. Um, that's our hope. Um, you'll have ample spacing and just watch our website project classes are coming i need to say thank you to a few people who helped this was an effort of well over three weeks the first person to thank though is mr degelman whose idea one day he shared with me eddie why don't you create a classroom and i thought about it and this is what we have created. I want to thank John Dougherty, Bill Hatfield, Jim Gallagher, Kevin El Toro, Stephen Peck, Stephen Peck, our builder, who actually framed this whole thing in. And of course, my staff, my entire staff, uh, for all their efforts and energy. And we invite each one of you to come look at this. Um, so anyway, things are going to start changing. We have, the good news is we'll be returning to more normalcy in March. So we're all excited about that, but we'll be doing so with safety in mind, I assure you. So without further ado, I'm going to have Mo come on up. And she is going to talk to you about what we have in store for today. So Mo, it's all yours. Hey everyone, it's Mo. That is a Qua Sewing and Vacuum. You know what? We have got such a wonderful, wonderful program for you today. But what I want to um, just start off with a little um, bit of housekeeping. And that is the link that you got that brought you to this presentation also has a link that has a price sheet. And all the wonderful products that we're going to talk to you about today are on that price sheet. You might want, if you have this printed, go ahead and make notes about the um, all the products you might want to purchase today. Also, there was a document that gave kind of pictures of some of these items. And um, that was available also for you to click and download to your computer. Now, if you don't have time to print this all out right now, don't worry. Just grab a piece of paper and a pencil. And as we go through some of these marvelous designs today from Lunchbox Quilts, um, you can just make note. So if you want these patterns, there is a couple of ways you can get them. One, call the store. Call the store and tell us what you'd like. Or two, email us at isaquasovac at gmail.com and just let us know what you'd like. We have all of her products on consignment. So they're here in the store right now for us to fulfill for you. 
<clears throat> so that is all great news. It's here. Another thing is, you can see this beautiful classroom, and I just have to emphasize again how lovely this room is, has samples up all around the walls. So even if you want to sneak on down to the store and see some of these in person, they're here and they're here for you to take a look at. So again, the housekeeping, take copious notes about all the things you'd like to purchase today and know that we are having our special so time discount on all of this product. All right. So that's housekeeping. But what I'd like to do right now is introduce um, Angie Stevenson from Lunchbox Quilts because all of this mastermind and beauty is um, attributed to this woman here. And we are so fortunate to have her with us. So Angie, welcome. Crowd goes wild. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Jonathan. I'm um, so excited to be here. Brand new uh, classroom. I'm going to be the first one to teach in it tomorrow. So that's going to be exciting. But we're going to show you a bunch of stuff today. A bunch yeah. of what's going on with Lunchbox. Angie, um, why don't you let people know how you got started with all of this? Sure. Um, gosh, I can't remember what year it was, but I had got a new embroidery machine. And when I found out it would do embroidery applique, I was hooked. Then along the way, I got the software and I did just made a quilt, just made a quilt with my software. I took it down to my local dealer to say, hey, I figured out my embroidery machine. I figured out my software. Look what I made. And she said, boy, you should teach that. And I thought, well, that would be great because I could make some more money for fabric and thread and just buy some more supplies. And it would be a good way just to help me along with my hobby. Little did I know that it was going to turn into this wonderful um, new career that I had started for myself and lunch. So that was about 2004, 2003, 2000, 2004. And in 2007, Lunchbox Quilts was created. So that's um, awesome. That's what's been going on. And I just keep making things every year. So um, do you want to get started with the first stuff or? We will. And now today we're going to be doing a trunk show. So and she's going to have an opportunity to show us her product and let you see how lovely some of this is. Tomorrow there's actually a workshop that's going to happen in store. And Angie's going to go ahead and um, be, we're going to have a six hour workshop tomorrow. There is still a space available. So if any of you think you want to, you know, pull it all together and get organized, you could call in and get in on that workshop. Okay, so what would we like to show first? Okay, well, let's just talk about the patterns in general first. So the patterns, and this one just happens to be farm fresh that you'll see it in a little while. The patterns all come with the designs, but they also come with a one or two patterns within it. So you're not just getting designs and you have to figure out, all right, what do I need to do with it? You can do anything you want with it. You can put it on a tote bag, you can um, make a little little plaque or something, but you will get instructions on how to make a quilt. So, or a small runner. So it just doesn't come with the designs. So, um, and later on, we're gonna talk about marker blocks as well. So, and as we go, I'll tell you which ones have marker blocks and I'm gonna explain what a marker block is. But I'd like to just get started from the beginning and um, we'll just start showing quilts and- Perfect. Sharing stories. So this was, this not, not this particular one, um, I have some in a different fabric, but this was made later on. This was the first quilt that I actually designed. Um, I called it Merry Christmas. I wasn't lunchbox quilts yet. I just was teaching it at the local store, you know, making some extra money for thread and fabric and the hobby. And so this was called Merry Christmas. This is the small version. There is a larger version. So most of the quilts will have a small, smaller and larger version to make. Um, but this is the small one. So this one is Merry Christmas. Awesome. So as, cute. as I was going, the store called me and said, hey, we got a new um, newsletter coming out. Would do you have anything else? And I, you know, wasn't really quick at digitizing yet. So if camera one, Eddie, if you could pan over to Hearts and Stars. That would be the second one that I designed. And um, that, I also taught that, still wasn't lunchbox quilts, just uh, creating designs. If you came to class, you got the designs for free and um, just, 
you know, that that's, I was, still wasn't lunchbox. So now by the, by the third one, and we have it here in this colorway, the next one was sunflower. And I designed this one, once again, teaching it. And the petals are done in, oh, so in the hoop. When I made the original oh, one, so cute. when I made the original big one, um, I did them all manually. <laughs> And when I decided to become lunchbox quotes later, I said there has to be an easier way, easier way to put these together. So um, you can do all the petals in the hoop. You'll just put a piece of stabilizer, two pieces of fabric, right sides together, and then they'll stitch. You'll trim them out and turn them inside out. Um, and on my large one that isn't here, before I was lunchbox quilts, I actually entered a contest with Bernina and I won a 440 and um uh, sewing machine. Oh, that's awesome. So, so this one's, um, this is the, not prize this winner. particular one, but th this one was a, a prize winner. So that this one is Sunflower. I should be telling you the name. So the that's first okay. one we did was Merry Christmas. Right. Then we did Hearts and Stars. Right. And now we just did Sunflower. So I'm still not lunchbox quilts, but people are starting to ask me, hey, are your patterns for sale? So I decided to become lunchbox quilts. So this was the fourth pattern I did, and now I became lunchbox quilts. We might have to use the table. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's so How beautiful. How are we doing there? Can you get that in? So this one's called Halloween Fun. Um, still remains one of my favorites. I guess it's just so colorful, and I love the candy corn that's all around the border. I remember so when I cute. was doing this one um, at that time, I remember when I was doing the candy corn, it was my birthday. And I said, I just want to make candy corn all day and stay in my pajamas. And then you'll, I told my family, you'll take me to dinner. So that that's was a great awesome. birthday. I just remember that birthday, yeah. just making a lot of candy corn. But that's where I love to be is in my sewing room. Mental note. I have an October birthday. Maybe that's the way yeah. I'll spend my birthday next yeah. year. Yeah candy corn let's see what's our next one okay our next one is going to be on the wall behind me oh. everything baby everything there are babies that are born every single day and this one remains timeless now you can make this more pink more blue um, this one was done neutral but you can do it however you want now it does say it's a boy it's a girl but you could put the name of the baby in there, the birth date, the birth weight. And then this one was just a little sample I made just to show you. And he's going to zoom in on this one just to show you the different designs are here. And I just wrote everything baby in there, but you could put all the information for the baby in there and make a little wall hanging. Very cool. Love it. So the next one I do not have, and I should have brought that one. What is it? Because you guys are chilly. Uh, I believe it's way behind you, but I can get it off that wall very easily. Which one? This one here. With the leaves? Yes. All right. So the next one is um, <clears throat> Autumn Wind. I did not bring the big one. I, I'm limited to how many I can take in my suitcase because um, Southwest is kind of picky about the 50-pound limit. <laughs> So this one's called Autumn Wind. The big one has lot, it's very huge. It has 108 leaves on it. Wow. Um, wow. But this is just a small sample of all the different leaves that, that are on that quilt. That's awesome. So that is Autumn Wind. Very nice. Did we have anybody ask questions yet? No, I guess not. Okay, all right. Well, after I did Autumn Wind, I had some stores say to me, you kind of need to brighten it up a little bit. <laughs> They'll tell you anything. So anyway, this is a small version wow, of the one that's- Wow, this got a lot brighter. <laughs> this is a small version of what is on the cover. Um, Doesn't it make you want to go on vacation? It's great. <laughs> Do you, so, so what's your favorite drink? My favorite drink? Mm -hmm. It would be, I'm a ginger ale gal. Oh, okay. Mine is the margarita. 
Wow. So I put three of them on here. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so this was a collaboration with Island Batik, and they had said they had a new fabric line coming out at the time. And they sent me a bunch of fabrics, and it was just so much fun to figure out what drinks I wanted with what fabrics. And so this was a sample that was made after the original Island Batik. Oh, awesome. But it's just the right size for, for carrying in the suitcase. I love Batik fabric. Wow. I love it. That's good. Okay, and the next one is Boots and Bandanas. That's and over here? It's right over here. So when I was working on that one, um, it was going to be all Western stuff. And that's just a small sample. It was going to be all Western things. And I just decided, I don't know, the boots just took over. And I looked at different pictures of boots. And I couldn't copy those boots because those are the boots are actually copyrighted. I mean, oh. they, they belong to those artists. Right. So I just kind of like said, hey, let's put some stars on this one. Let's do some stitching. And I just got some ideas of shapes of boots. There's all different types of shapes. So that's how. Look at um, these sweet little prairie points she's put around here. Oh, my gosh. It's so cute. You should come see it. They should. Because, they, they, you know, we can take pictures all we want. But it's when you see them in person, they're yeah. just wonderful. Well, He's panning back to us now. Yeah. While we while I was working on boots and bandanas, my husband said to me, you know, we need to pick the pace up a little bit. <laughs> he said, you this one epic quote that you do every six months, you need to need to work a little faster. And I said, yeah, but I don't have another design in, in my head. And he was going through his trout fishing stage at the time. So he came up with this sketch of this trout quilt and uh, originally he had the this trout. is one of my favorites originally he had the trout all as one piece and i said well we don't have hoops that big yet oh my goodness. so we he Look he came this. back with another sketch and showed <laughs> oh me how he goodness. how he um put the sashing between each piece isn't and, that awesome and it really is it's remarkable um this is to this day, one of our number one sellers, and it's it's um, been out for ten years. Wow! Uh, people send me pictures all the time of what uh, they've made them for their husbands, their sons, their daughters that fish. Um, it's it's a very popular one. This one's very cool, and all around it, there's little flies, and they have fringe on them. They're so cool, and they're part of the. This is part, another. Got to see it. To they're part of it. the pattern as well. So really this one cool. is about trout. About trout. Those things that would be top about. of your list A about trout. Yeah, that would be the first one. Okay. So we can make a quick announcement for people to say hello in the chat in order to enter the free giveaway. Oh, do you know we're gonna do a drawing today? Because here it is across Sovac. We're all about the prize, or at least I am. I always want to win a prize. And uh so we're going to give prizes to those who are tuned in today. So in the chat area of the presentation, just say hello, give a shout out. And then that way there, we have someone behind the scenes collecting names and drawing for prizes. And if you have any questions along the way, you know, I'll be happy to answer them. Um, <clears throat> Eddie will read them to me. I will answer them. Sure. Um, so but, far we have amazing, I love autumn wind. Very cool. Good. And Eddie, wow, you are really a great person. And I love, oh, it's my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> no, Eddie wrote that in. That's right. <laughs> Mo's looking especially fabulous today. <laughs> um, the next one, we don't have a sample. Well, we do have a sample of, but it's up in that top right corner. I don't know if you can pan The ice cream. Right. Okay, the, the next one is called Ooh. Scoop It Up. Scoop It Up. And it's all ice cream. Here we go. Who wouldn't love that? So there is a larger version of this. So if you would like a large version of ice cream quilt. But um, this one's great. Originally, it was going to be all different types of desserts. But then the ice cream took over. And I said, we're just going to do ice cream. And what's fun about this is people make this quilt and then they just make the runner and they put it out the birthday week of whoever's in their family. Oh yeah. So they get to have the runner on the table on their birthday week. 
Well, now you could ask me my favorite ice cream because that would okay. be praline oh. and caramel. So just letting you know. Okay, well, then anybody you can that wants some fabrics to that look like get on my good side. <laughs> just putting it out there. Just right. Just putting it out there. I never get mad about food. <laughs> uh, the next one, um, people always ask me for a pet quote. I want a dog. I want a cat. I want a horse. I want something. But I have birds. I have little cockatiels. So I decided that I was going to do a bird quote. And this one is called Fancy Feathers. I love this one. <laughs> and this one is a lot of fun. They're all named. We have Little Lily, Baby Beebster, which is named after one of my birds that he was a baby at the time. Uh, Crazy Clarence. Uh, um, there's twins on here, Timmy and Tammy. <laughs> And um, we have uh, Flyaway Fred and Show Off Shirley. So they're all named. And it's so much fun when I go to class because people are saying, I'm working on Baby Beepster. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> and these little swirly things, I was trying to make the birds be in a tree, but I couldn't, I couldn't get it. So I just made these little things. This is my, this is my attempt at abstract art. This is like abstract leaves and trees that was all around these birds. Well, that's beautiful. Thank you. The next one is, yep. The next one, I have some friends that uh, are not quilters. And one day they gave me this idea. They said, you should do a picnic time quilt. And so I did. My it's That's a, it doesn't really matter. It's all mixed up. So, oh. so this is called picnic time. I love little pieces. This is awesome. Yeah, so do I, until I started to do it. <laughs> but if you don't like doing little pieces in the pattern, there is a page that tells you make this this side. So you could get some fabric that's already checkerboard like, already looks like a checkerboard, and you can just insert it into these pieces should you not want to do all that but really it's not that hard but i do want you to look at this oh now check check this out this looks like the chicken from kentucky fried chicken and i'm going to show you how i got crinkled. that effect it's all crinkled it's all crinkly so awesome there are several different products that do this um i know floriani has it uh, I can't think of the name off the top of my head, but it's like shrinky stuff. And, <laughs> and what you do is you'll hoop, what you'll do for my, well, what it was designed for was you would put your fabric down on top of this and you would free motion all the way around. And then when you steamed it, it would shrink up. But who has time to do that when your embroidery machine will do it for you? So the ninth design on that pattern, um, and you can't see it from the front, but from the back you can see that the embroidery machine went and made all these lines this way and this way. It was hooped. Wow. You got it? So, the, so I hooped it. The embroidery machine did all the nice little lines all the way around. Then what you'll do is you'll take it and with your steam iron, you're just going to steam it. And it's going to shrink all the way up like this. And then when you go to do your applique of your, of your chicken leg later, you'll use this just like a piece of fabric. And that's what makes it all crinkly. That's so awesome. you do have to make, before you call up this design and start stitching it, you do have to make your, your crinkly piece. That's very cool. So that just adds a little bonus to your little, you know, something. That's awesome. That's cool. All right, our next one is, is on top. It's called Love Here. Letters. Love Letters. So the last one was called Picnic Time. So this one's called Love Letters. At the time I was making this, I, can't, I wanted to do something with words. And I thought, oh, it'd be really easy to digitize letters. <laughs> it took just as long. Um, so this isn't necessarily a Valentine's quote. You could break out sections of it and do Valentine stuff. But I wanted this to be a quilt for friendship, 
Um, maybe someone getting married. This would be a great wedding gift. Yeah. Uh, it's very versatile. It's not just for Valentine's. Um, and that one's called Love Letters. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the next one we have a small sample of. And then there's also one on the wall right here. So I don't know if you want to go there first. Okay. So this one is called Ooh La La, and it is actually the small version. The uh, large version has the Eiffel Tower and a lot more of the little uh, Parisian type things. So that one is called Ooh La La, and then um, it's got the dress and the high heel and the purse and the uh, perfume bottle. And there's also a, um, a poodle. Trying to think of all the things that we have a it. gal who's going to be doing this in the workshop tomorrow. Perfect. And then this one I made after the pattern was already out. I found this great fabric that was like girls' night out, spa day, go shopping, Diva. fashionista. And I just said, you know what? I need to make something else with that. Really? So cute. this would be cute for a little girl's room just to hang yeah. the three little things. And then I have a matching pillow too. Oh, because awesome. I had an extra dress dress form, so I just made a matching pillow. Wonderful. So that one is ooh la la. Ooh la la. The next one, uh, lots of people kept asking me, when are you going to do a cat quilt? When are you going to do a cat quilt? Can you do a cat quilt? And I thought, well, there's lots of cat stuff out there. Why would anybody want a cat quilt? Um, so I made the cat quilt. And I was either going to starve or be able to eat with this one. And this one's called Cat's Meow. And along with about trout, it remains one of our most popular ones. We have folks working on this one tomorrow as well. So this was also a collaboration with Isla Batik and they had sent me fabrics and I got before they were released and I got to play with them and make all these very colorful cats. They are also all named and we have uh, twins Toby and Tootsie. Here's Tootsie and there's Toby. We, we have more <laughs> twins on it like the birds. Wow. There's twins. That's and they all have names, um, tiger and um, pumpkin. and, and uh, I love the little fish. <laughs> someone ate the fish. And we have your ball of yarn. Yep. And if you use variegated thread when it's stitching, it really makes a nice effect. That is yeah. awesome. Oh, and the paw prints. Uh, they are uh, part of the pro program as well, but uh, they are just stitched because those would be way too small to try to get some applique in. Right. But there's 24 different blocks of paw prints, and there's five paw prints on each one. Awesome. Uh, someone's asking, a customer's asking, do you think you'll ever do a long-haired wiener dog quilt? <laughs> you. Just, just You're all. asking. <laughs> That's you. <Right>. Oh. <laughs> Never just. mind. <laughs> Okay, so then after I did Cat's Meow, the dog people got their feathers ruffled a little bit. And um, so I had to do a dog quilt. Now, before we open this up, I'm going to tell you that if I was going to do all the breeds of a dog, it would be as big as a football field. Wow. So these are called mixed mutts. If you do not see your dog here, you are to go to a rescue center and rescue a dog that looks like this. It may not be purple. But, you know, you Just can get the get general idea. Let's get the So mud. here is Mixed Mutts, also a collaboration with Island Batik. And I want to point out, the layout is the same size as Cat's Meow. Yeah. So if you had a dog and a cat, you could insert some cats in here and have some dogs. But, you know, as you'll see, they're just kind of mixed up. There's no certain breed here. You know, this may look like a Shih Tzu but maybe not. That might look like a poodle. Well, that one does look like a poodle. That's Fifi. There's your... They're all named as well, but there are no twins on this one because these are mixed mutts. We don't know what happened to their families because they've been at the at the rescue center. Right. So we didn't have any twins on this one. Gotcha. Uh, but, you know, they've got their fire hydrant and their phone, and here's their little dog house. Very cute. And it says woof. And then also the paw prints, paw. which are stitched. <clears throat> awesome. That is mixed mutts. Let's see what else we got coming up. 
Oh, this is the one that Eddie likes. You may want to make the big one after you see this one. Oh, oh yeah. This one's called So Vintage. And it says, never underestimate the power of a woman with a sewing machine, or you could take the W-O off and have man and maybe center that a little bit. So this one, um, now I did it in vintage type fabrics, but I have taught classes where they use the more modern stuff and they have like the green turquoisey fabric uh, for their sewing machine. So you don't have to do it in blacks and tans. You can brighten it up if you want, but I saw it, I saw it as the black sewing machine. Yeah, the old so, vintage, really and beautiful. And, and these little things up here, these are embroidered because they were just too small to do an applique with. So those little filigrees that go around the edge. So that Wonderful. is so vintage. I see that in my future. Future. Oh, we're to the second stack already. The next one, because About Trout was so popular, five years after About Trout, I did Wilderness Wildlife. So here it is. This is wilderness wildlife. Wow. So we have your deer, your bears, your cabin with your wolf. Uh, we have some uh, elk. elk down here. And at the way bottom, there's a moose. Wow, very northwest. Yes, very northwest. that's why I brought this one, made sure this one came. Um, these are paw, uh, bear paw blocks, but you don't have to piece them. They're done in the embroidery machine. Because awesome. I thought trying to make these so tiny would, you know, if, if it's if it's challenging for me or I don't like doing it, I'm not going to put it in here. Um, this one was funny. Island Batik had this fabric, and they said, "What do you want?" So I I ordered what I wanted, and they said everything you ordered is out because I don't seem to get things done in a timely manner. So they substituted stuff, and when I got this one. This border fabric with the purple, it's really, awesome. and I'm like, how is trees. how is that going to work? But I I got the purple blended in, so the paw prints are purple, and you have the purple mountains. So it, I think it works. It's but beautiful. It, it did work. I was a little frightened at first, but it happened. I was thinking about making the moose one as a table runner because that's my husband's nickname, Moose. Yeah, you can take each section and just do that because somewhere in the Oh, it's, it's behind you, but we have taken just the bear block uh, and uh, done just the bears. Are you Here, I'll show it. it. Okay. Can you do an about face? Uh -huh. <clears throat> Maybe you can show all the other small ones that were there that we've talked about too. There's the about trout and the cocktails and the picnic. Wow. Yeah, all those could be runners for your, for your tables. Um, wow. The cocktail one. You can also see the big windows. <laughs> oh, yeah. So Look at that. Set. Lots of light in here. Let me swing it back around. Let's see if that's our next one. Christmas. No, that is not our next one. Our next one is going to be on the wall over here with the sailboat. The sail we'll away. Just keep swinging okay. around here. The next one is sail away. After I did wilderness wildlife, you know, people tell you everything. Hey, I don't live in the wood wood type area. You know, I live by the ocean or I live by a lake. So that is just the small version of Sail Away. It has other designs with it. And it also has a lighthouse. The lighthouse is awesome. Yeah. So the, that's a big one. Um, and um, Sail Away, I, I had to limit what I could bring. So I'm, I apologize that that one's not with me. Um, but it basically is the same colors, just with more designs and the lighthouse on it. And if you had an opportunity to download the document that gave you little pictures, um, you'll be able to see that sail away pattern and see the lighthouse and some of the other features. Okay, so our next one is, all right. So my next quilt. Now there's there were some other projects that came in between some of these um, quilts, but um, this was the 20th quilt pattern I did. Awesome. So I decided for the 20th one, we would go back to Christmas. And this is Ooh. completely different wow. than the original. Look at those colors. Christmas. 
So when I was working on this, oh I just saw it on black. And I remember my husband saying black, and I would say, yes, black. And he'd say black, and I'm like, yes, black. Wow. And I had found this fabric when I was traveling, and my a friend of mine said, what are you going to do with that? That's not you at all. I'm like, something about it. There's just something about it. A lot of and method. I ended up using it as my border. I was going to put it on the Beautiful. back, and I said, no, it's too good. So I used it on my, on, on my border. I did it in black. And then when I bought my... I, my, I have a great quilter, and I we always talk about what kind of threads are we going to use. And I purchased this thread that was a variegated, and it has all the colors in it. And it just, it it's, it doesn't look flat, yeah, you know, it's because it's beautiful. black. And then there's these little, um, and some of the buttons have fallen off in my suitcase. Uh, I sent some of these, too, that I think uh, um, the embellishment kit for this pattern. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Um, so I don't remember. There's like... 15 buttons in there and the cording. Oh, very so good. that's something you could, if you decide to do the big one, you can do that. But the, isn't this giant Santa head just? Yes, we do have a customer that got this and put this in a table runner. The, this and the candy canes and they made a really fun, either Santa. table runner or wall hanging, depending on how oh, you want to lay hanging. it out. Yeah, the wall hanging. Oh, the wall hanging's right behind us. Ta -da. Ah. Ah. Ta -da. That is wonderful. So I had used Holly up, Jolly Christmas is what this one's called. I had used up all this fabric. And I remember when I bought it, my friend bought two yards. And so I called her up and I said, and I've known her since sixth grade. Hey, what'd you do with your two yards? She goes, I haven't used it yet. I'm like, can I buy it for, from you? And she said, you can have it. Oh, so she that's gave a friend. it to me. But I was traveling and found this same fabric at the time in red and blue. So I bought her two yards of red and two yards of blue. Awesome. So she doubled her fabric and she liked the red and the blue better. So it all worked out. That's wonderful. All right. While I was at market one time and I was doing a presentation, I asked, what would you like to see next? What do you want next? Um, I like to get feedback. Well, they wanted Christmas cats. And I'm like, more Ooh. cats, more cats. <laughs> Guess what? I made it. And here it is. I did kind of a little modern setting with it. This is called uh, Christmas Cats. And some of the cats have returned. Oh. Um, this is, uh, what did I, I forget what I called this one. This one was uh, uh, Tootsie. Tootsie came back and she is wearing the ugly swear sweater. And it says Meowy Christmas. So Tootsie came back. She's not happy about wearing that sweater. My son got a cat, so we, we put Muppet in here. And um, there's some little mice in the corner, some little Christmas mice. Cute. The same ones are down below. And they're just all doing fun Christmas stuff. This guy's dressing up as, as Santa. Uh, this guy's in, in Santa's boot. Um, there's one tangled in the uh, Christmas, ornaments. Christmas ornaments, lights. And, yeah. Awesome. So this one is called Christmas Cats because Christmas cats. there's a lot of cat lovers out there. <laughs> we have a question. Sure. Question is, do your designs come with cut files? They do not. And I would like to explain why, if that's okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Um, we do tech support and we had a lot of questions every week about, you know, what, what format should I be using? stabilizer. I couldn't download it. So we answer a lot of questions and we don't mind doing that. If I put cut files in there, I would feel like I would need to know how to operate all of the cut machines and, um, and they're changing. They're changing all the time. So I don't include the SVG files, but I do know on your brother machines, Eddie, that you can make the cut files right on your machine. The scanning cut with the scan and cut. Um, but you can put the designs in into the brother machine and you can create a SVG file. Wow. Did you know that? Yeah. In the luminaire. <laughs> yes. Yes. No, not really. But I think you can do it in one below the, the before the luminaire came out. Okay. The, the, I think the, the dream, dream machine. machine does it as well. So we have two more questions. Sure. Uh, from Connie. 
Is the mousse applique or embroidery? Applique. There's a piece of fabric down, and then it's going to satin stitch around the shape. But the answer is yes. You do it in an embroidery hoop, but it is an applique pattern in an embroidery machine. Okay, next question. What's the name of that outdoor quilt again? Wilderness Wildlife. That would be Wilderness Wildlife. Wilderness Rita. Wildlife. Okay. Um, and all your people that are watching, they have embroidery machines? Oh, they have a myriad of different things. Okay. Some might embroider and some may just like to do sewing. You know, I have the classic line. Um, I didn't send any because we're doing embroidery for our program. Okay. But if someone... Oh, oh go ahead. And uh, uh, the Solaris can also do that. Okay. Baby right. Lock Solaris. Okay. So there we go. Yeah. Carol Dagelman. Thank you. Thank you. Right. So you're you're saying that um, for these patterns that have applique, you also could buy a sewing sewing version where you would go back and do more tra right. the traditional on your domestic sewing machine. Cla yeah, they're called the classic version. Right. There's just the trace outs. So you would trace out your little design and cut it out, and then you would either hand hand embroider applique it down. You could zigzag around it. You could just fuse it down. So there's blanket a stitch, the, all the of them. blanket stitch. There's a variety. Not all of them have them, but if there was one that you don't have an embroidery machine yet, uh, you could contact the store and we can figure out, you know, which one you want and get you right. the classic version. So if you want the classic version again, you guys give us a call to order because we definitely can bring it in for you. Right. Okay. All right. So uh, yeah, then that's the next one. It's kind of large. It oh, is biggie. so it's popular. A biggie. So this one's called Retro Campers. And so I started working on these campers and looking at different camper styles. Now, I'm going to tell you something about my husband. He thinks that all these appliques are floating in space. So he said the campers look like they're floating in space. So he said, I hate when he's right. You should make, before you do the applique, sew two pieces of fabric together so you have sand and the sky and then put everything on it yeah so it really he was right so there's all kinds of campers on here so this is west coast because it has a surfboard and then down here must be florida we have you know your east coast because you have flamingos and i put an arizona one in here because you know i'm from arizona and this looks like a more our northwest look. Yeah, that's a, like a fishing one. Yeah. And this one is Arizona because there is the, the saguaro cactus. And there's a park. And, oh, check out this western one. Can you see that? Very awesome. So there's all different ones. And then somewhere, somewhere we just have the three. Right up there. Oh, yeah, there's just three. Oh, yeah, and we can't forget all the little sayings. Um, always at home, wherever you roam. That one over there has camper, sweet camper. Um, home is where the hitch is. This is so, how we roll. So they have little sayings all between Adorable. them. And we, and we kept them clean, okay? Kept those sayings clean. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that is... Uh -huh. There we go. The next one is. Oh, this one's been really popular. Quiltosaurus. While I was at market one time, Island Batik came to me and said, we have this new line of fabric coming out. What do you think of it? Do you think you could do something with it? And I think. It was called City Culture 2. And I think what the designer was doing was like cobblestones and things that you would see in the city, maybe on the ground. But I saw dinosaurs. I immediately saw it dinosaurs. Does scaly. And so I said, we're going to do dinosaurs. And I looked up all the dinosaurs and I wanted to put their names with them because the kids kind of like that. And then we did the pop, we did the footprints. Now, brontosaurus, his aren't very. Yeah, they're just like Distinct. blobs, but some of them were very interesting. They are. And, and then there was the question of, should we have Brontosaurus on there? 
because at one time it was a brontosaurus, it wasn't a brontosaurus. There's questions whether it was really a brontosaurus. But my answer is Fred Flintstone was on a brontosaurus, so we're having a brontosaurus on there. That's awesome. So that's how Quiltosaurus because came you know to be. Fred. You know, he was on a brontosaurus when he worked in the in the quarry. All right, this next one is super special. I have worked with Island Batik multiple times now on different quilts that you've seen. And they had come to me and said, could you design a fabric line for us? And I said, you know, I've been down that route before and I spent a lot of time on it. And whatever I did, this other company didn't really, you know, like. So I've kind of shied away from it. And they would ask me every six months. Can you? And I would say, oh, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. So finally, one day they said, call and give us what you have. So I had something scribbled on paper. There was something on my computer. Um, I think I just like things that I just scribbled and stuff. And I just sent it to them. And I'm like, this is great. I'm going to send it to them. And then they're going to look at them. And then they're going to say, thanks, but no thanks. And we'll be done. I called them up next week. We love them. We've <laughs> already sent the paper. They've already sent the designs over to Valley. And they're starting to make, make it. And I'm like, well, did you want different? Did you want different scale? Did you want? Nope. Everything was perfect. So that's how this came to be. And I knew I wanted to do fish. And so the whole line of fabric was based around fish, tropical fish this time. And um, so Is this the ocean odyssey, ocean odyssey. So I have, there was 30 different SKUs that came with this. So like this piece was colorized different, different ways. And like this piece here with the orange and the fish, it's colorized another way on the back with blue. So there was six different patterns, but they got colorized different ways and it made 30 different combinations. Oh, awesome. Um, you know, last time you did a program with us, there was a customer who was doing this. She did the full size ocean odyssey and you know what she did with it? I think she's brilliant. She made a shower curtain. She decided instead of a, a quilt, she needed to have a really nice shower curtain. And that's what she did with Ocean Odyssey. And then she could see it every day. And she got to see, see it every day. Every single day. And before this came out, before the fabric came out and before the pattern came out, I got to teach on a cruise. And they got to do a small little version of it. And we found fabrics that were similar because the, the fabric line wasn't out yet. Right. So um, this is this is really special. This one that's awesome. It's it's that beautiful. one's all me, totally all me. This is the all Angie. I don't even live by ocean. All right, we're gonna move on to. All right, the next one. This inspiration came from. I would go to these quote shop shows. I kept buying these wool kits that did little trucks and little pumpkins, and they would sell me the whole kit. And I would come home and I wouldn't finish them. <laughs> and they're all in a tub somewhere. And then I said one day, these little trucks that they do with the wool are so cute. Why can't we do that with our embroidery machine? So this one is awesome. That's how Keep On Trucking came. Wow. So, so all the it's trucks awesome. have stuff in it. Like here's your sewing truck. And you, of course your Christmas tree truck and a Valentine truck and a cupcake. And you got your snowman. There's some with flowers. Um, just Mary, they're taking the cake to oh, the reception. That's so cute. Uh, we had to get our dog and cat in there. You know, here's uh, the front of a truck, and it has the dog and the cat. There's a table runner over this direction, Eddie, if you swing over. That's just, or a table topper or wall hanging, whatever you'd like it to be. But um, it's really awesome. There's a lot of things you could do with now, all these trucks. If you like the trucks, and let's say you want to make it for your husband or your son, and they don't want a tree or pumpkins or a giant cupcake in the back, you there's another file in that pattern, and it's trucks without stuff. Oh, so good. It's all the trucks, but they don't have the stuff in them. Oh, that's so, awesome. So, you know, maybe someone doesn't want a giant rooster in the back. Who there. wouldn't want a giant rooster? Yes, or giant I, rooster. I'm not here to judge. I'm not no. here. So what if you didn't want a giant rooster in the back? <laughs> That's right. 
Perfect. Oh, there it is. I see it now. You see it? Can you hold it up just yep. one more time? Let's so what if you don't want a giant rooster? Oh, wow. That is a giant rooster. That's giant. It's giant. This one's going in my bag home okay. with me. <laughs> right. After I did Christmas cats, the dog people got mad again. Okay. Oh, yes, we do. So uh, this one's called um, Holiday Hounds. Holiday Hounds. And... I didn't do full body on this. These are selfies. They're doing their selfie. So they're all doing something different. Um, you know, they got the earmuffs or he's, he's, he's wearing that. Oh, um, these are cute. Yeah. And that's the candy cane bones. Um, my son, other son got a dog. So we had to name, we had to make one and name it Zeke. Um, there's a giant dog house in the middle. If you don't have one of the larger machines, there is the smaller version and okay. you can just put an, an extra border around it. Um, That's a good question. People might ask, what's the average hoop size? Most of them, the most, almost all of them, the biggest hoop you'll need is like a six by 10. Six by 10. But there are a few things that are larger. Okay. But on the back of the pattern, you'll be able to check that. Right. Well, that's just good to know. Or buy another machine. I, I just came up with the uh, new uh, label, the word for the wiener dog quote. <laughs> Wienerific. Wienerific. I'll get right on that one. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get right on that. Maybe you could send me some artwork or Done. a digitized file. Not just a name. I need artwork too. All right. Um, always wanted to do this. And um, it just kind of materi it materialized. I think it goes this way. This, this one, called, we have quite a few people yes. who want to work on this. This, this one's weekend. called Farm Fresh. Um, really wonderful. Oh, you guys are going to love seeing this one in person. We just had oh, this come and see it in Phoenix. We just had two shows, two weeks part. We had our local show and then QuiltCon was in Phoenix last weekend. And even though this wasn't, um, you know, for QuiltCon, they're more modern, even though there was modern quilters there, this, this was probably the number one seller at the, um, at QuiltCon and our, and our rusty barn show. Um, and wow. you don't just have to, you can do all kinds of things. There's so much here. Um, I, I made the rooster and then put it on cardboard and put it on like a piece of wood from Hobby Lobby. And I painted it red like a like a barn. Oh, very so good. So you can do a lot of things. You can just take the signs out or you can just, you know, make a, make a hen. Right. Oh, and these blocks, not pieced. Once again, not pieced. All done in the embroidery hoop not frustrating to have to piece these you just do this just like an applique and it looks like a quilt block that's awesome do we have any questions before i go on to the marker blocks nope just a lot of people loving campers good oh yeah we have that one. Oh yeah this is the last quilt i designed that's available i'm almost done with the next one but um this one's called, and it doesn't really matter which way it goes, they're all mixed up. This one's called Just Flowers. So this was during the summer, first summer of COVID. Um, you know, I was home a lot. So I, I, my son gave me all these flowers and I planted them outside in these pots and I was watering them every day. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna do a quilt that's just flowers. And how, they're like, how come you called it just flowers? There's no bees or bugs or butterflies or dragonflies on it. It's just flowers. And once again, the quilter, we picked a variegated thread and it just pops. And this is uh, the Moda Grunge, a gray Moda Grunge. And then all these fabrics um, that are bright are cave, cave fabrics. Oh yeah. From Free Spirit. Well, what you don't see probably on camera is the beautiful texture work she's done in some of this satin stitch work. Um, it is just really, I've never seen anything like it, but she has really done a beautiful texture with thread. This gonna is going to be to the front sure. really quick. Let's Maybe we if... can swing around because it has a really unique texture. Can you maybe oh, even yeah. in the sunflower? Just perfect right there. Such a unique texture. And I want to move it over to this one. Awesome. 
That's perfect. Okay. All right. So that one, even though there's not a small sample here, if someone wanted to work on it during the workshop, they, they could. There, there is someone going to work on it tomorrow. Good. That wraps up all the quilts, but now I'm going to show you some other stuff now. Oh, we have a question. Sure. From Deborah Allen. Okay. Hi, Deborah. Do you have a program that just does the quilt block half triangle nine patch? Half triangle nine patch. I do. I don't think I don't, so. No, whatever's on that quilt is on that quilt, and I don't think there's a half triangle nine patch. No, no, I didn't. There was a shoe fly. There was a bear nine, paw. There was a nine patch. Yeah. But a great idea. Yep. That's a good idea. Just Note to, to self. Yep. Always looking for ideas. So remember when I talked about marker blocks? When I have you do your pa your pattern, I always have you make your blocks two inches bigger than what they would be in the quilt. So let's say you were doing the duck from Everything Baby. To be put into the quilt, it's six and a half inches square. But I would have you cut your block eight and a half inches. So by the time it embroiders, you pull off your stabilizer, you press it from the back. You know, you could have a block that looked a little bit like this. And now it's per, it's cut to the size it's supposed to be. But if it was eight and a half inches square, you could just square it right back up. So with that, you would need these marker blocks. Is there too much of a glare or are you getting it? No, that's great. Okay. And then stay zoomed because I have more stuff. So this is what a marker block is. They come on transparencies. They come in a package like this. And if this was the Ocean Odyssey pattern, they would hang on like this in the store. So you would see your Ocean Odyssey pattern, and then you would see your Ocean Odyssey mark block. So they're separate. It's a separate purchase. Got it. Okay. Don't have to have it. Yeah. Make your life totally easier. Totally. But if you call in, indicate that that's what you would like. Right, and I believe and it's it is on, the on their price sheet. Mark a block are on. First, you see your quilt patterns, then you see your marker blocks, and then you see her additional embroidery collections on your price sheet. And not every quilt has a marker block. This is true. So you'd have to see. Okay, I like Ocean Odyssey. It has a, it has a marker block. Let's say I like Scoop It Up. Scoop It Up doesn't have one. So okay. you'll have to just look it back and forth to your sheet. Good, good, good. So this is little Lily from, from Fancy Feathers and she's cut bigger than she needs to be cut. Then you would take your marker block. Oh, you knew I was going there. I knew. <laughs> um, so this is your marker block and it's on a transparency and you would trim them out from your transparency. Right. And then you would lay little Lily on top of your your marker block on top of little lily and you'd mark the four corners and with your rotary cutter you would cut it and little lily would be the exact right size perfection so that's how you use a marker block just makes everything square straight little lily isn't like walking downhill that's walking what lily hill. would be doing if i was making it well i'm gonna get her done gal <laughs> right so that That's just awesome. makes your life Genius. way easier. And now we'll just go to some of those small projects. Okay. Now. In between, um, I did small projects. And um, let's just jump in. Yeah, so two sets of mug rugs, Two right? sets. So this is mug rugs. This is one's called Mug Rug Madness. And I should have pulled a pattern. Let me just grab it. This is Mug Rug Madness. And these are little mug, mug, mug rugs, and they're all coffee themed or tea themed, or there's a, a hot chocolate in there. What you will do is embroider your, your design. And I used a colored denim because I just thought it was gave it a little bit more stability. And then you'll That's fuse it to the mug rugs, and the pattern comes with four already in there for you to fuse. If you need more than four, the store can order you packages of just mug rugs. So and they're made by Bozo, Bozo right? right? Okay, good. It's the Bozo Craft Techs. 
Good. And these are the six by eight uh, double sided Perfect. fusible. So okay. it comes with four, so you can get started. And if you're going to make more, you can just get them. So this one is the Mug Rug Madness. But wait, there's more. But wait. Now I only have three of these. Uh, maybe you'll hold them up and I can get find the package. These are the sewing ones. Now, you know, she was good to make them six by eight because we always want to have somewhere to put our mug and the donut or the cookie or, you know, a myriad of other things. Chocolate. There are, well, I don't know where they are right now, but there are six. There's also a sewing machine, a mannequin. I can't remember what the sixth one is, but they're all sewing mystery. themed. They're all sewing themed. So same thing. That's perfect. The package comes with six and you'll get four to start. And they're you really know. sturdy. You know what? I did put two in here. Oh. Beca because my tr my my pattern, these travel around. A lot. And they get yeah. bent in the suitcase and they're just not home sitting flat. I did double mine up. Oh, gotcha. But look how, but look, it'll hold your mug really it's good. Gonna it's going to hold your mug. Spill. And um, your donut. But even the ones cookie. that just have one in it are, are still pretty sturdy. Yeah. But I just thought with the travel... It just has just made it better. All right. Lunchbox Quilts is known for the recipe towels. And the first recipe collection that we had done uh, is uh, cocktails. They're yeah. all cocktails. There's 12 different ones. So this is um, cocktails. Now, this is my tip. You know, when you're going to go ahead and do some of this fine print, on a towel, be sure you're using that micro thread because then you can use a, a 60 or an 80 weight thread and you won't lose the inside of some of that lettering. So we we have quite a bit of that. Just let us know what you need. And, and my tip is wash your towels before. Oh yeah. Because if you don't wash your towel and then you wash it and it shrinks, you're gonna get all that little lettering shrunk up. Right. So always wash your towels before. So this one is the uh, cocktail, and then we did. Whoop. Oh, quick question. Sure. Uh, Carol Bagelman has a question. Do you bind them like you would a quilt? The, the mug rugs. Yes, the, the mug rugs. Yes, uh, you need to use a bias, a bias binding. Yes. Um, if you don't like doing that, you could possibly serge the edges. Maybe. Oh yeah, there's an idea. What if yeah. you used your wave stitch on your triumph or? That would be beautiful right, around that. Some people don't like to do bindings. Right. I love it. <laughs> love a binding. Love, love, love. And then you have. So on the next one was holiday recipe towels. Oh, so, very good. So these are all holiday related. Uh, we also have a traducan in there. The traducan recipe. Do you know what a traducan <laughs> is? No. It, oh. It's. Uh, What's on the inside? It's the turkey and the duck and then the. It's just chicken. Chicken. Chicken, chicken turkey, duck. Oh All cooked together. <laughs> All cooked together. And you get a traducan. Yeah. Traducan. Yes. <laughs> yes. Aren't you glad you We need to today? have a traducan feast. But put that on our should list. You, should you purchase this recipe towel collection, you will get the traducan the recipe. The traducan recipe. Yes. Well, I'm excited about holy guacamole. That's that's the last one, but, oh, we, can oh, do, but we can do it Look now. Me, I'm getting all so excited about So this is the, this is the international food. collection. So in this collection, there's Mexican, Italian, Asian, and French. So you would get in this collection, you would get a dessert, uh, an entree, a main dish, and a dessert for each of the different nationalities. Oh, awesome. So this is part of the Mexican collection. Yum. This is my favorite. This is my favorite. I just love the color of the towel. I do too. Um, and it would be cute on the Kimberbell ombre, you know, that bright green towel that Kimberbell has out that's ombre. Oh my gosh, that would be adorable. And then um, more chocolate recipes. So we had a, another recipe collection originally that had been discontinued. So we made more chocolate recipes. So these are all chocolate recipes. And then of course, one of my favorites, Diner Delights, because these are all comfort foods that you would find in a diner. That's right. And I this I just love the color of this towel. And instead of doing the little piece of fabric, I did Rick Rack. And just to let you know how to finish the bottom of your towels is in the pattern. Oh, good. It shows you how to make your two inch and your little flange. flange 
and how to put it on there and how to finish it. So Perfect. that is in the pattern as well. Very good. So we just don't leave you hanging there. Like, what am awesome. I supposed to do now? And then we just have those things over there. These? Oh, we have oh, those these? and that. Yeah. The last recipe collection that was done before International were recipes for, and then it was, but I didn't want to do one a towel. I just, I just got to break so away from the towels. Them. So these are just um, kids' canvases from like your craft store. So this is recipe for friendship, recipe, recipe for success, recipe for learning. These, there's nine of them. I didn't bring all nine. Awesome. But there's a recipe for joyfulness, happiness. Um, so there's nine different ones. Now, we do have it color stopped. So you could make each one of these a different color if you wanted to. I thought they looked nice as like chalkboard. Monochromatic. Uh, so right. I would just hit the button on my machine, the monochromatic, and, and I just let it stitch. But if you wanted to do one that was different colors, it does stop every so single time. So the machine time. will stop for right. you. Awesome. So that is recipes four. And then we'll do these first. I did these before mug rugs. Uh, these are the placemats also by Bozel. So this first collection is called Seasonal Celebrations. So we'll just go through them. Can you, can you, are we on Yeah, camera? we're good. So that would be the Valentine one. And that's the fall one. It's the holiday one. I had a friend that made like 12 of these for her big table for Christmas. Wow. Uh, celebrate anything, birthday, any kind of celebration. Fourth of July. And how about some summer flowers? So that's the first collection. That's called seasonal celebrations. Then we have more seasonal celebrations. So here's our jack-o'-lantern, snowman. This one's coming up, St. Patty's Day. How about summertime flip-flops? The Easter basket. And this one sells the collection. <laughs> your wine bottle and your wine. That's a must-have collection. Yes, that's a must-have. This For people all the buy, winers out there. People buy this just for this. It is so, really adorable. And I've put that you on know. a towel. I have put that on a towel and just given that to someone who, who liked wine and put it on a towel. That's wonderful. But a lot of these designs you could just put on a towel. You, you yeah. can get bonus stuff. You make your quilt and then start putting stuff on towels. Like and they crazy. even make um, wine bag blanks. Oh, yeah. You could so put you that, could on put that design on a wine bag. Yeah. And then it's a gift. Oh, my gosh. And great so then idea. you're getting a lot of use out of your pattern. All right, so now our pets can't be left out. No. We have pet place mats. Bon Appetit. Doggy Diner. My Remington needs one of these. Top Dog. You're making that for your wiener dogs? Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, Kitty Cafe. Here, we're going to the cat section now. Top Cat. And Meow Chow. Meow chow. That's so funny. So that's all of our pet placemats. We have a question. Sure. Does the bosal hold up well with repeated washings? Uh, I've only washed one once. It says you can wash them. I wouldn't put it in the dryer. It says you can put it on the, in the dryer, but I wouldn't put it in the dryer. I washed it and then I just laid it flat. And I think I just gave it a little press with the iron. Mm -hmm. But it, it is made to be washed. And okay. put in the dryer, but I wouldn't put it in the dryer. I don't put a lot of things in the dryer. All right, so then uh, this one is, let me just separate them. Oh, yeah, I'm missing one from that. So these, going back to that wool story, where I, I see all these cute wool things. I'm seeing these cute wool, wool candle mats. And it's it's just like, I want to make those, but let's make our have our embroidery machine. So this is called... Candle mats, fall, winter. Fall and winter. So this is through Valentine's. Shoot. Here's your little uh, Christmas Gingerbread. gingerbread guy. Here's that candy corn again. Can't get enough. Here's a pumpkin. This is your January. And this is probably November. This could be this week. Yeah, here. We had snow. Here. 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> And then um, I'm missing a couple from these because I have another trunk show that's out. So I had to steal some things from this oh, one. Gotcha. So this is Candle Matt's Spring Summer. So this is your watermelon. And all oh, the flowers here can, are so sweet. Flowers. Here's your summertime uh, flamingo. Hey, all you flamingo enthusiasts. There's a lot of flamingo enthusiasts. And then there is uh, the ladybug. ladybug. And there's an Cute. Easter, there's an Easter egg and a birdhouse. Oh, good. So those are the two that I don't have with me. Good. Awesome. That wraps up everything. Well, what that a I beautiful brought. show. Thank it is you. so beautiful. And again, they're here on the wall mm -hmm. and they're even going to be hanging through tomorrow through our workshop. So if you come on into the shop to do any shopping and purchasing, um, you can have a chance to look around and see all this beautiful work. Okay, I think now it's time, um, Mo and Angie, that we've we've selected five winners. Oh, okay, Ooh, yay! And so they're getting one piece of fabric of their no what? No. Okay, what one piece of fabric here. Here you go. <laughs> no. no. Let's do this. Let's do a charm Ooh, pack. A charm pack. I didn't. And you know what? On. Usually when we do this, we sit, we pick a charm pack for you. But you know what? We all have our own taste. What we're going to say is we're going to draw five names and you come pick your charm pack. Nice. Okay. So nice. that's pretty awesome. So you ready for the names? Yes. Yes. We're ready. The winners are Frida Horn. Frida, Frida Horn. Horn. She'll be here tomorrow. Joni Blakesley. Joni, Joni Blakesley. Allie Rossman. Allie, Allie Rossman. Rossman. Julie Rose. Julie Rose. And Congratulations, then finally, Julie. Connie Wong. Connie all Wong. Right. Okay, all of you just come on down to the store and let us know that your name had been drawn and then you can pick out a charm pack. There's a lot of beautiful ones. I've been looking at them all morning. And they're gorgeous. And even yes. when you're looking at some of her patterns, look at here. Yeah. Oh, see how these yes. just are going to fit into some of these patterns. Perfect. Charm yeah. packs and the layer cakes are perfect for the patterns. Um, you just need some yardage for background. Right. And these are perfect. Because they're already color coordinated. That's what we love about charm packs. Okay. We have another question. Sure. Okay. The question is, hey, in April, will there be another sew time? There will be. What is the date? Okay, so there will be a sew time in April, and um, I get to put it on. I'm very excited about this. In April, it'll be on the 21st. That's a Thursday. It's going to be the Thursday after Easter, and the theme is going to be Let's Get Organized. Okay, and there will be patterns of... Um, type of projects you can do that will help you get some things organized around your sewing room. So stay tuned for that because that's going to be a lot of fun. And boy, do I have tips and tricks. April 21st, Thursday. And guess what? Remember that whole thing about the mask mandate kind of changing up here? Well, this is going to be the first time we are going to offer it twice. We're going to let a live audience here in this gorgeous classroom once at 10 o'clock and we're going to do it again at two o'clock. For those who choose to stay home, not to worry. We will still have a virtual presentation at 10 o'clock. This is all happening April 21st. So you'll have all the samples to show them? And I then... will have samples. You should see I'm at home stitching right now. I looked at a picture today and already saw a mistake I made in one. It happens. <laughs> it happens to all of us. That's right. It's a feature now. Okay. Thank you so much. Well, thank, thank you. you so Thanks much. for tuning in. Thank you, Camera fun. One. <laughs> Not a problem. Thanks, my co-host today. Yeah, there we go. It was a it lot was of fun. Great. Had a good time. You're so Hopefully working. you'll be by tomorrow. Connie Wong is asking, what if you live a long way from your store? I just won. Looks like we're going to have to maybe contact Connie Wong and show her some photos. That's right. And then just give us a call, Connie. We'll work it out. I'm, All right. I'm glad and you know what? That's a good point. You can give us a call to order anything because we're at 425-392-9868. I know our phone number is all over the emails, but I just wanted to give that shout out.
because you can call and order these patterns today. And we'll have them till after tom tomorrow, and then they're on consignment. They're on consignment. So then we have to send them back. Whatever right. you don't sell. So we'll probably have them here in the store. We'll probably be sending them back maybe Wednesday of next week. So you do right now, and then I'll give you a Monday and Tuesday. And Wednesday. <laughs> it may be Wednesday. There we go. You know, because they have to right. make decisions. But I'm glad that Connie watched from outside of the Seattle area. That's, yeah, awesome. That's nice. Right. Thanks, everyone. Right. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Angie. Thank you for having me. Take care.